is it necessary to impeach the deputy president honorable gashago at the moment this is a question that is being asked by so many citizens and the only rightful person to save honorable gashago at the moment is president Trudeau himself the mps from different regions of course have made up their mind on impeaching the deputy president honorable gashago someone would ask would my mp vote him to be impeached or not and my answer is as good as everyone else's yes my area mp has all reasons to vote out honorable gashago he is a person who's been seen um defending and asking more shares for the mountain people um, he presents himself as a village man whose main intention is to gather more for his people not knowing that his role as the deputy president is to unite kenyans and serve the entire nation he has forgotten that during the campaigns he and the president promised a lot of goodies for the kenyan citizens whom to date he has never fought for actualizing the campaign promises made how many of my viewers will say the deputy president has visited their home constituencies other than the central province and a few constituencies in rift valley i come from kisi county a home to a number of uh, constituencies both in Kisi County and Nyamira County. How many times has he set foot in either of the constituencies? That extends to Kisumu County, um, Homabe County, Migori County, and Western counties, <clears throat> that is Kakamega, Vihiga, Bungoma, and Suzoya. Would any MP be convicted to having put and continue serving Kenya as the deputy president. The grounds for his impeachment are a thing to be determined as the hearings start in parliament. But my wish is that both the president and the deputy president have failed on their mandate, they failed to actualize their campaign promises, and as the MPs seek to impeach the deputy president so should they seek to impeach the president in fact the president should call for fresh elections so that kenya can go back to the drawing board to provide leaders that are credible that will seek to unite the nation and live to actualize the promises to liberate kenyans from poverty bring them to the actual are realities of innovation, science, technology, rising economy, and providing a ground that shapes our learners to the future.